Ethernet wiring is used when connecting Powerwall 3 to the customer's router and for communication between multiple Powerwall 3 units. Ethernet cable can be store-bought with plugs on each end or field-made for cost savings. This video teaches installers how to field-make Ethernet terminations in just a few minutes. To make this Ethernet cable, installers will need Cat5 or higher cable, a crimper, RJ45 plugs, and an Ethernet tester. This crimper includes a blade to score the jacket. If using a crimper that doesn't include this blade, a utility knife can be used as a substitute. This crimper also has a blade to cut the ends of the wires. If this feature is not available, diagonal cutters or linesman's pliers can be used. RJ45 plugs come in two primary types. Pass-through plugs, which are used in this video, allow the wires to extend through the plug, making assembly easier. Standard plugs, where the wire stops at the end of the plug, require a more precise cut before crimping. Ethernet cable consists of four twisted pairs of wires surrounded by an outer jacket. Each twisted pair is braided in a specific pattern to optimize the overall performance of the cable. Ethernet cable can be found in many configurations, like CAT5 and CAT6, or shielded and unshielded. The cables used in this demonstration are CAT5E and CAT6A, but the assembly process is similar for all types. The first step is to remove the outer jacket to expose the wiring underneath. Plan to remove at least half a finger's worth in length of the outer jacket. Insert the cable into the slot on the crimper labeled strip and squeeze the handles. Take note of the proximity of the blade to the outer jacket. Spin the crimper around the cable to score the jacket. Lightly bend or twist the jacket if necessary to finish cutting through the score. Pull away the loose end of the jacket and set it aside. If using shielded cable, unwind the metal shielding or foil from the wiring and cut it off. Inspect the wiring within the cable, especially at the end of the jacket, to ensure that it was not nicked or cut while removing the outer jacket. If any wires are damaged, cut the stripped end off and start over. Some cables include a rip cord. If present, use it, as it will ensure access to a section free of damage. Pull the rip cord about a finger's worth in length. Cut off the rip cord. Bend the wires away from the jacket and carefully cut the jacket. If a separator called a spline is present, return the wires to their original position and carefully cut the spline. If necessary, the wires can now be cut back down to about half a finger's worth in length. Separate each of the four pairs of wires. Orange and brown should be opposite each other. Next, grab the piece of jacket that was initially removed and use it to untwist each pair until all eight wires are separated. Notice that the wires are left with a wavy pattern, which must be addressed. To straighten the wires, pinch them between a thumb and an object such as a screwdriver. The crimper itself can be used for this purpose. Pull each wire through the pinch as many times as needed to straighten them out. The wires will now be arranged according to the T568B pinout. A diagram is present on the crimper for reference. From left to right, the colors are striped orange, solid orange, striped green, solid blue, striped blue, solid green, striped brown, and finally, solid brown. Please note, some regions may utilize the T568A wiring configuration. Follow the appropriate standard for the region of installation. Hold all eight wires so they are lying flat in this configuration, all touching each other. Straighten the wires once again while in the correct order. Use wire cutters or the crimper to make a straight cut across the end of all eight wires. Grab an RJ45 plug and hold it so the gold pins are visible. Insert all eight wires into the end of the plug. As the wires pass through their respective channels inside of the plug, they will continue to pass through the end of the plug. If there is resistance or if any wires get stuck while passing through, pull the wires out cut a clean end and try again. Verify that the color scheme is still intact after the wires exit the plug. Push the RJ45 plug all the way down onto the cable until the outer jacket is seated within the plug. Insert the RJ45 plug into the crimper. Ensure it is fully inserted, then firmly squeeze the handle all the way in to crimp the plug onto the wiring. This tool also cuts the excess wiring off the end of the plug while making the crimp. Repeat these steps on the other end of the cable leaving enough slack to reach the Ethernet port. The final step is to test the Ethernet cable to ensure that it is properly wired and crimped on each end. 
It's worth noting that testing a cable takes about 10 seconds. On the other hand, the troubleshooting associated with a bad Ethernet connection can easily add 20 minutes or more. Insert both ends of the cable into the tester, then turn the tester on. The tester will indicate if the cable passes the test or if there is an issue. It's always good practice to test more than once. If a bad crimp is found, cut the bad RJ45 plug off and start over.